HIV used to be a death sentence. I remember a time when receiving that diagnosis was terrifying. Even the medication that they gave you for it made you sick, but things have changed. Not only do we have better medications to treat those who already have HIV, but we also have medications that help prevent it. My uncle actually passed away from HIV because the medicines made him sick and he didn't want to take them and they were super expensive. So nowadays to find out that there are other medications that you can take to not only prevent it, but if something happens and you have an accident, that you can go and take it after exposure is amazing. 39,513 people were diagnosed with HIV infection in 2015 in the U.S., according to the CDC. The number of new HIV diagnoses fell 19% from 2005 to 2014. Back in the day, people thought that you could contract HIV from simply shaking hands or sharing a fork with someone, but we know that's not true. HIV is transmitted through bodily fluids, blood being the most likely, followed by sexual fluids, then sweat, tears, and saliva being at the very bottom. For instance, if you accidentally borrowed your roommate's toothbrush, it's highly unlikely that you would contract HIV. The levels are so low in saliva, and saliva is full of antivirals. If you're sexually active, you're at risk for HIV. You're at a higher risk of contraction depending upon where you live, your race, and your sexual orientation. So it's super important to know all of the methods of prevention. It might seem obvious, but I'm gonna say it anyway, condoms. Lube is super important because lube helps keep you moist, which keeps there from being small tears, which is one of the ways that the HIV virus gets into your system. If you fall into a high-risk group, there's daily medications you can take, like PrEP. Those medications work similar to the birth control pill. You take it every day on top of using barrier methods in order to help prevent contracting HIV. If you've already been exposed, there's PEP which works very similar to Plan B. HIV is no longer a death sentence, but that's only if you know you have it. And the only way to know that is to go get regularly tested. When you go in to get tested for STDs, you have to request HIV as a separate test, depending on where you live.